Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to make dandelion tea. Now there's a diff couple different ways that people will make dandelion tea. One is from just the flower top, the yellow flower that everybody's familiar with. This is such a beautiful plant. Um, and the other would be from the leaves, the flowers, and the roots all together. So this one I'm going to show you, this, is, this particular tea I'm going to make today is going to be strictly from the flowers. And this will produce a sort of a light yellow tea. Now there's a lot of benefits to dandelions uh, when they're consumed and if they're consumed as a tea or as a tincture or something like that. But, uh, and I'll go through a list of all the benefits uh, on another video. So actually if you look down in the links below you're going to see some links to some really good information about dandelions. This is a super healthy tea and here's the beauty of it that everybody's got these growing in their, growing in their yard or around their property or in a park or something like that. So there's an abundance of this, this beautiful weed. So anyway, I got about a quarter of a cup and I'm, of, of dandelions that I just picked in my backyard. Now I'm going to make one note here though. <clears throat> if you're going to use dandelions that are from your yard or somebody else's yard, it's a really good idea to know what's been put into the ground. And that, what I mean by that is fertilizers, pesticides, and any other contaminants that might get into the plant itself. Now it's really important because you don't want to consume these things. So I know from my backyard that there's no pesticides and I don't use any herbicides or chemicals at all on uh, my property. So it's a pretty clean environment. Now that's not all, always the case, especially if you're going to pick dandelions from let's say a city park or some public place where the, you know if they're growing grass they're obviously fertilizing it with some sort of chemical. Anyway, that being said, just be careful of what you're eating or what you're consuming. So we got about a quarter of a cup of fresh dandelion flowers. Now I've got some water here and I'm going to fill it up, fill this cup up about three quarters and that's actually going to be almost a, a full cup of water as it measures out. Now you can see them just kind of floating around. I'm going to use this bowl here just to stick this on top and we'll let it steep for uh, probably a good five to eight minutes. You can go a little bit longer, it'll get just a bit stronger. And while it's steeping, I would like to tell you that it's really important not to use scalding boiling water on this because you'll damage some of the, the, the beautiful elements and, and components in the, in the flour itself and it won't be quite as nutritious. So use hot water, but make sure it's not boiling hot water. Okay, while I'm letting my dandelion flour tea steep in the cup, I'm also going to show you the other variation of, of dandelions, uh, dandelion tea that is, or the herb tea. Now uh, these are dandelion plants that I've actually dug up from my yard and I, what I mean by dug up is you can't really pull them up. The root will go oh up to six to eight inches in the ground and you'll end up just pulling the tops of the plant off. So it's best to take a small shovel or a hand shovel and kind of get under the root and pull the whole root out. And the reason I say that is because the root is a very important part of the nutritional part of this plant. And this is the root right here. Now you can see these have already dried out. I let them dry naturally. I uh, usually spread the leaves out and, and put them in a warm place where they're not going to mold. And, and this takes only about two days. So these are really crispy and dry. No mold. They've got a few of the flowers that have dried on them as well. But I've separated all of the, uh, the roots. These are the roots. And washed them really good before I started drying them so there's no dirt on them at all. There's no dirt on the plants. And these are the uh, seed pods that are separated as well. I had a couple pieces of root here that I removed that had some embedded dirt that I would have never been able to get out. You don't want to have any dirt in your tea. So anyway, you could actually use these right here in your tea, but you know, I just got this feeling like these little fibers right here might get caught in your throat, so I, I really don't use them. Uh, if you know something about the, the beneficial value of these and you want to add a comment below, please do that. But anyway, this is a, what I use as a raw material for my tea. So this right here will make a good bit of tea. I will uh, crunch all this up. I'll take these roots here and put them in a coffee grinder and mince them up into almost a powder. And this I'll just crunch by hand and mince it into a powder and then you know chop it with a knife or whatever. You want to have the same consistency that you would get from any other tea, small, small leaves. And I'm going to show you here really quick uh, some tea that I've made uh, that I actually have around the house that it was made uh, two or three months ago. And I'll show you what the finished product looks like. Anyway, this is uh, the rough and raw products for making dandelion tea and this is the whole plant plus the root. Okay, I'm going to show you some tea that I've already made and I've got it in a little a little jar, a little plastic jar and I just uh, I make this tea about well, at least once a day. But this is um this is some tea that I made a few months ago 
and I just want to give you an idea of what it looks like when it's really ready to be used. But it's got the consistency of any other kind of herb tea that you would buy in an herbal store. Uh, this makes a really wonderful tea. It's a little, a little bit bitter. I've gotten used to the taste of it. I would say it's very unique tasting. It's not bad tasting, but it is a little bitter. But to remedy that bitterness, it's really simple. Just add some organic raw honey to it, maybe a half a teaspoon or whatever to your cup. And you are going to love this. This is a great tea, super healthy. And like I said, I've listed all the benefits below. You can follow the link and learn a lot more about dandelion tea. And the beauty of it, again, is it's right in your backyard. You don't need to go to the health food store. You don't need to go to the herb store and pay a, you know, $7 a pound for this. You can harvest it right in your backyard. And these, they call them weeds, but they're an actual plant that is really a desirable plant, grows just about everywhere in our country and in the world. And a lot of times, if you've got reasonable weather, they'll grow all year round. Now, you can make your tea like this, and it'll store just like any other tea. You can freeze it or you can keep it in a dry container. It'll last a long time, at least a year. It won't last that long if you like this stuff or if you're using it. Anyway, this is what my dandelion tea looks like. I wish you could taste it, but you can make your own. And uh, if you don't have the ability to make your own, uh, I've got some links down below where you can actually purchase dandelion tea, and you will be surprised at the health benefits you'll gain from this. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that. In just a moment, we're going to get back to uh, the dandelion flower tea that I've been steeping. We'll take a look at that and see how it's going. Okay, our tea has been steeping about five or six minutes. We probably could go a little bit longer, but as you can see, the, uh, the hot water now is turned in a slight yellow color. I'm going to strain this out in just a few minutes. Actually, I'm going to let it steep a little bit longer. But you can use any kind of strainer like this and uh, strain those leaves out. And I usually add a little bit of organic honey, like a teaspoon or so. And I'm going to tell you what, this makes a beautiful tea. You know, what was once to be an ugly weed, thought to be an ugly weed in people's backyards, and I used to think that as well, I have come to appreciate and so many other people have as a medicinal herb, God's creation. I'll tell you what, there's so many beautiful things that this plant and this flower can do for you and your health. So I encourage you to look at my links below. There's a lot of great information on the benefits of different uses of dandelions, dandelion roots, teas, coffees, and other things. So educate yourself on this. Get yourself some dandelions and make yourself some dandelion tea. It's going to be well worth your effort. Well, listen, I appreciate you watching my videos, and uh, we'd like for you to subscribe to our channel and leave comments, or if you've got a video yourself that you would like to respond with, please do that as well. We appreciate you very much. Have a nice day, and really, to your health, dandelion tea.